Yo, what is up guys, Coleman one here, and I'm back today bringing you another After Effects tutorial, and this is going to be the start of a new series on my channel. We're going to be talking about underused and underrated effects within After Effects. Let's kick it off. So this first effect I'm going to be talking about is called CC Griddler. Let me show you what it is. <laughs> I'm not sure if you saw that, but it's all this CC Criddler is almost like a mosaic effect where it, uh, it distorts and tilizes the clip wherever you set your mask or on the entire clip. Um, in this example, I put it around just the edges, which you can do using an ellipse mask, which I'll show you in a little bit. And uh, it looks really nice, it's great for over edits. So I'm going to show you how to do this. If you come over to After Effects, I'm gonna, you're going to see I have my clip and also just my CC. So what you're going to want to do is create a new adjustment layer. So you go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, or you can click on a PC, Control-Alt-Y, or on a Mac, Command-Alt-Y. So with this new adjustment layer selected, you want to hover over where you want the CC Griddler to start, and then go one frame back. Next, you want to search up CC Griddler. And uh, you're going to notice that nothing changes, but that's, that's perfect. And uh, you want to keyframe everything except for the cut tiles. Now move one frame forward, and you can bump up the horizontal scale and the vertical scale. Now you're going to see that automatically it starts to chop your clip into separate tiles, and it gives it that distorted look that we're going for. You can also change the rotation, which change the change the rotation of the clip in each tile automatically. So it kind of looks really distorted and I wouldn't suggest this but it's always a possibility if you want to. So I'm going to move mine to around 170 in the horizontal and about 130 in the vertical. Now I only want to clip, I only want to distort around the edges so how you can do this is if you come over your mask and hold it you can select your ellipse tool and I double click and that's going to create a mask perfectly around your adjustment layer. And if you see down here where it says mask 1, you can set it to subtract. And that will put it just around the edges. And you're going to want to feather it out so you can press F while the mask is selected. And put it around 150 to 200. And it's going to feather it out and blend it really nice. And it's not too noticeable now. So another thing I like to do is, well first maybe just adjust this a little bit more. And well, that looks pretty good. And then another thing I did, which you might be able to see in the example, is I added a shine, which really makes it stand out and brightens it all up, makes it look nice. So this is a third-party pl plugin, and you're gonna go to um, you can just search up Shine if you have it. It's Trap Code, you know, Red Giant software, the same people who make Magic Bullet looks, and you can just put that on there. You want to change the blending mode to either overlay or add or whatever you prefer. I'll set it to add for right now. And I'm going to also go to colorize and change the color to rainbow, uh, not rainbow. I think the surgic looks pretty nice. It's like it's almost a blue. I used it in another part of that edit. And as you can see, it brightens it up. It actually makes it more noticeable and it gives it a really nice effect. So now to the keyframing. Um, if you go one frame back, you might want to set the shine opacity down to zero, then one frame forward and bump it up to a hundred, and then go about thirty frames forward. That'd be half a second, and you can put that down to zero again. So it's just like a fade. And then you also want to keyframe your uh, CC Griddler. So to see all your keyframes, you can press U. And you see that we already keyframed the beginning of the CC grid alert. So now we can just click reset. And it will reset everything that we keyframed back to the original. And it will look just without any effects on it. And you can see as we scrub through it, the CC grid alert fades on and off along with the shine. And we might want to bump up the boost light on the shine. And a little bit of the ray length to give it a little bit more shine. So I'm going to pre-render this right here. You can press B to set your work area. And then you can press Control Zero to ramp preview. Now there's no music, so it might not look amazing, and with some more Twixter, it might look better too. But it's it's just an idea. 
and that wasn't really too noticeable so I might just bump it up a little bit more and then I'll do one more RAM preview. You can also bump up the scale and it kind of makes it just a tad more noticeable. Or actually lowering the scale makes it more noticeable. And as you can see, I mean, it looks really nice. It would be perfect for an over-edit, depending on what you're doing. And it's just, I don't know, it gives it a really nice effect that I like and I occasionally use. And I hope you guys are going to use it too, now that you've seen this. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Please leave a like rating if you enjoyed, if I taught you something new. And yeah, thanks, guys. See ya.